All right, Patrick, let's talk business productivity. This is an interesting chart. We talked at the beginning of the show in a previous segment how Canada and the U.S. are going in two different directions. This is a perfect example. Canada's productivity is tanking and the U.S. is rebounding. I find this interesting. I know you're pretty passionate about like this is kind of I feel like I'm throwing you a softball here because you're pretty passionate about productivity levels. But uh, this, I think, is a very, very interesting chart. All right, folks, here's what we're going to do. For everybody who likes and subscribe this week, Patrick is going to do five push-ups for everyone who likes and subscribe. So let's jack it up. And then, Patrick, I want you to post on YouTube all the push-ups you have to do. Okay, done, done. I'll even put it on Instagram because I'm into the physical challenges these days. Like, subscribe. Comment. Yeah. Well, it continues to show just exactly some of the challenges that we face and even deciding or looking at what's happening economically. I mean, when you consider that productivity is declining, which it has been, when we go back to what I've said many times, part of my frustration, even from the political side of it, because I, it's driven by politics, is that Canada productivity was always consumer debt driven. So we know that now rates have gone up. So it's no surprise that productivity is coming down. But the frustrating so part the, of it. So is the states, by the way, the states is also uh, debt driven. There's no difference between them and us. No, but they spend money on things like R&D. They have a lot more exports than we do. So when we look at what's actually driving a U.S. economy versus uh, Canada's economy, Manufacturing in Canada has been trending down for multiple years. I don't know how many exactly, but manufacturing is trending down. What the hell? It should be trending up because what are we doing? We're importing more than we're exporting. Right now, the world is a freaking mess. When you look at the global macro, the wars, the supply shortages, all the things that are going on, we are a resource driven country, yet our exports are abysmal. It's, it's probably a good word. A lot of our GDP. And what we would call productivity is being driven by the immigration. So people are scratching their heads. They're pissed off. What the hell? Why have we got all this immigration? Well, there's a lot of reasons for that immigration. And if I get really offside and go, well, it's political, you know, they're looking for voters. That could be one part of it. But the other part of it really is, is that's what's driving our GDP. That immigration number, by the way, is what's really supporting a lot of the growth, because when people move into a country, International students aside, when people move into a country, they set up house. It was a part of the conversation we've had many times that is also what drives some of our inflation. So it's all to say this, as real estate investors, we have to look at what are the true economic fundamentals that are driving our real estate. And so when we look at the price appreciation, it's a supply issue. Uh, is part of it. It's a lending issue, which is another big part of it. It's a demand issue. It isn't any, well, everybody goes to, well, supply and demand. So where am I going with all of this? When it comes to productivity, we have to look at what is it that drives Canada's productivity. And a big part of it is consumer debt driven. And a big part of that is our housing. And guess what? Interest rates are too high. People are stressed in terms of their disposable income. Things are slowing down. If you like what you learned here, go to the description below and subscribe for our free insiders newsletter where you can also stay up to date for our upcoming events and our courses. If you want to see more stuff like this, click here. If you want to see the entire show, click there.